All right, hi everybody. <clears throat> it's me, Bonkai922. Here to bring you another first impressions. Yes. Um, this is gonna go along with the other first impressions I'm gonna be doing because I just did Chica. I'm gonna upload it tonight. Um, what's well, today? Along with this and Selector. This is going to be Log Horizon season two. Now, I'm pretty much everybody saw. When I reviewed Log Horizon Season 1, I kind of went, whoo! Gave me like a really high rating. Well, the reason why is because it's so good. It was really good. I, I really enjoyed it. Now, this season might be better than last season. Because what's interesting about this season is there's a lot more going on. I mean, last season, it was like them developing the community of Akihabara, getting everything sorted and making the world and, you know, putting together a community. Here, it's more like they're more developing on that, but also they're exploring other things. Like, we get introduced to what a raid is, which is basically a group of players going and attack this dungeon that has different levels and shit and it is pretty crazy not to mention with the recent episode oh by the way this first impression is going to take you back to the first six episodes i'm doing for this and selector um and it got kind of serious at times like it's not it's not like last it's the beginning of the last season this is like the beginning of this season this season you know, like Shiro, he's not there at Akihabara. He hasn't been there. There's a certain point in, in, in the first six episodes where he actually leaves. And he does this other thing, this kind of raid that they go on. And this actually I like because it gets characters who... I'm not dropping names here. One character in particular... Who at some point did have chance in season one to shine shine and now here you actually have an opportunity for this character to actually do something really impactful and to develop in a certain way also not to mention that in episode six something happened that woo -hoo, what the fuck's going on here that really surprised me and we all know the thing that really surprised me that I really enjoyed which we never got to see in season one. When you die in this world, in Long Horizon, you get resurrected. Now, the cutback is, which I didn't really, I didn't go too details on this, I think, in season one, was when you die, you come back to life. You don't die and you're dead. No, you come back to life. But there is a, a catch. The catch is, you part of your memories gets taken away. A little bit of it gets taken away, and <clears throat> we actually get to see this place in in the first one of the episodes in the six episodes. This place where you go before you get resurrected, and it's like it's kind of a weird place. Basically, like there's a snow. You think it's snow falling. But it's not snow, it's fragments, it's memory fragments of a person um, that get sacrificed in order to bring them back, that can come back to life. And then we get to see this in, I believe, episode... Not episode 5, episode 6. And also, during these episode 5 and 6, we get introduced to this other character. We get this, this, this tension building between the people of the land... And the adventures, which I also think is a big fresher for since last season. And something happened, I'm not going to go too much with the spoilers here, but something happens drastically in the end of episode 6 that made me go, whoa. And I actually like this because, you see, in season 1, you see Shiro like all the time. And now... I mean, I mean, see Shiro all the time in Akihabara, but now here you have something where 
he's not there. He, instead, he's somewhere else. So now, who's you know, like, taking charge in Akihabara is like a question mark. Because you got Kotsky and everyone else trying to, you know, write the shit while he's away. And everyone else is away. So, I actually like this. This is a big refresher. Now, this is a first impressions only. And when more episodes come out at the end of the season, I'll, I'll give my full review. But for now, I have to say this is a very good start for season two. It has, for, for me, because I know I gave it a high rating for season one. For here, though, I'm looking for something more. And this is actually a good start. So overall, for now, I'm going to say 8.5 out of 10. For now, though. I'm going to leave it at that. 8.5 out of 10, or you get like, you know, 4 out of 5, 10 out of 5 or something. But we'll say 8.5 out of 10 for now. But if it goes in a direction I think it's going to go, I'm not going to give it a full 10. Because, you know, no flaws at all. Might give it a 9.5 out of 10 at the end of the day. But for now, 8.5 out of 10. And I like where it's going because now, because he's not in Akihabara and we have this situation happening in Akihabara, you get these other characters that were with Shiro, one particular, Akatsuki, who have now an opportunity to, like, come into their own. Come into their own, become stronger, do stuff that they weren't able to do in season one. So I like the, the start of, of Long Horizon so far. Now, and and, it, and we got new characters involved in the season, and, and they, they're making the presence known here and there. And I really dig it. I really do. I especially like the scene, because there's this scene where it's not just Akatsuki, but it's Shiro too. And they actually meet in, like, what is known as the Land of the Dead, which is the place I told you about with the fragments and stuff. I thought that was a nice scene. I really enjoyed it. The connection between those two and everything and so on and so forth. So, and it was this other, I had to mention, I almost forgot to mention this. This one scene that, animation-wise, whoa. Whoa. And I'm talking about, I think this is episode, the recent one. I'm not sure if it's the, re it was either episode 6 or episode 5, where she see, she's in this sea of people, and like, what seems to be Japan, on the street, and then you get, you get this really crazy close-up of her eye. Oh my god, that looked really detailed. Like, almost like... Real life. Well, it's anime. But, like, it's really real. Like, it's really fucking detailed. The animation there was just... Oh, my God. I was flipping on us right here. Like, what the hell is that, you know? It surprised me. But for now, I'm going to say 8.5 out of 10 for Long Horizon Season 2. At the moment. I believe that I will probably end up giving it a 9, 9.5 when the day ends. When I see the other episodes. Because so far it's 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 going down the right path, and I'm liking the fuck out of it. Now, yeah, and that's pretty much the story. It's going in the right direction. It really is. And I, I want to also that guy Sue. Man, he was yo when he they were fighting the samurai guy. Yo, he was dead ass. He was like all business going in there, and he wanted to kill this motherfucker. Because he was murdering his um, people from his guild and shit. And I thought it was awesome. But overall, good start to, to Lock Horizon. I, I'm, I'm digging it really well. It's fucking awesome. N no shit. Um, we'll see how it ends. We'll see how it goes from here. Um, hopefully Shiro gets involved later on. Goes back to Akihabara. He's at this raid thing now. So we'll, we'll see. Until then... Bonkai 922, I'll see you guys later. After this, I'll probably do Selector. Got a lot to talk about when it concerns that show. A lot. Look forward to it. I'll see you guys later.